Well, hi guys, this is Aniket and I welcome you all to our YouTube channel. Guys, today's jo trick hai, wo based on limits. Ke upar. And guys, limits ke upar already a trick we have uploaded on this channel. So if you haven't seen trick, nahi dekhi, you can watch it in the i button here. I'll put the link here. And guys, limits ke also we have got many more shortcuts on different topics. So if you haven't seen all shortcuts nahi dekhi, and if you want to watch it, you can check them in the description below. I'll put all their links in the description. And for now, let's focus on today's shortcut. Alright guys, so today's trick is based on limit x tends to infinity. Ke upar. Guys, limit x tends to infinity, ke andar, jitne bhi sare questions aate hai, wo sare ke sare hum categorize kar sakte hai in three cases. Theek hai, in three cases, and the cases are, see, whenever we are dealing with limit x tends to infinity, if the degree of numerator is less than the degree of denominator, then the answer of the entire function is 0. Okay, if the degree of numerator is less than the degree of denominator, then the answer of the entire function is 0. Then the next one is, if the degree of numerator is greater than the degree of denominator, then the answer of the entire function is infinity. Okay, so if the degree of numerator is greater than the degree of denominator, then the answer of the entire function is infinity. And the last one is, if the degree of numerator is equal to the degree of denominator, then the answer of the function is the coefficient of highest power of x in the numerator upon the coefficient of highest power of x in the denominator. Alright, so we just have to keep these three cases in mind whenever we are dealing with questions based on limit x tends to infinity. And we can quickly get the answer in a matter of a few seconds. So let's apply this technique and solve some questions based on this type. Alright, so while solving the sum, just aapko ek bar check karna hai ki apna jo sum hai, wo limit x tends to infinity wala hai ki nahi. And once you're done with that, then straight away check the degree of the polynomials in the numerator and denominator. And degree of polynomials ka matlab hota hai, the highest power of x in the polynomial. Thik hai? So, for the first one, we have in the numerator, the degree of polynomial is 2 here. And in the denominator, the degree of polynomial is 3. So, the si baat hai, pe the degree of numerator is less than the degree of denominator. And as per our condition, we know if the degree of numerator is less than the degree of denominator, then straight away, the answer of the question is 0. So, the answer for the first one is 0. Similarly, for the next one, pe dekhna, the degree of numerator it is 3 and the degree of denominator is 2. So, the degree of numerator here is greater than degree of denominator. So, as per our condition, the answer of this function is infinity. So, pe the answer is infinity. And for the last one, see here, the degree of numerator is 2 and the degree of denominator is also 2. So, here the degree of numerator is equal to the degree of denominator. So, in this case, mein, the answer is the coefficient of highest power of x in the numerator upon the coefficient of highest power of x in the denominator. Hai? So, here the answer is 7 upon 8. So, 7 upon 8. And that's all we have with this guys. Uh, once again, let me flash the three cases on the screen here. You can pause the video and note all these three cases somewhere in your book. So just remember, whenever we are dealing with limit x tends to infinity, if the degree of numerator is less than the degree of denominator, then the answer is 0. If the degree of numerator is greater than the degree of denominator, then the answer is infinity. And if the degree of numerator is equal to the degree of denominator, then the answer is coefficient of highest power of x in the numerator upon coefficient of highest power of x in the denominator. And that's it. So, this type of question, which are all the questions in three cases, we can categorize in three cases. And you can easily solve the questions in a matter of a few seconds. So, that's all we have in this video, guys. If you liked video today, then please video ko like and share with your friends. Ke bhi. Let them also know the trick. And don't forget to subscribe, karna mat bulye, guys. See you next time. Goodbye.